work up an appetite when exploring Esawera. So to sort that out, I'm going to participate in a cooking class at Khadija's Cuisina. I am visiting the amazing chef Khadija in her home where she runs her business Khadija's Cuisina. And today she's going to teach me a Moroccan specialty called tafeya, which is semolina couscous, raisin caramelized onion with chicken and roasted almonds. Khadija, where do we begin? Uh, first, you can uh, cut onion. And then you can cook uh, onion first. You can do it here, uh, all onion. Usually when I cook back at home, I always understand it to be oil first, heated, then put in the onions. But clearly, yeah. the Moroccan way is different. Oil mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and spices. Two teaspoons cinnamon, hey? one teaspoon salt. Mm -hmm. And turmeric and ginger. And half teaspoon pepper. I love the different spice combinations in Morocco. It keeps the dish so interesting, but you know that there are those ones that are frequently used, like turmeric, salt, and pepper. You can cook here. This uh, onion you can cook like that, 10 minutes. Okay. And after, you can add the uh, riza. If you want a healthier alternative when caramelizing your onions, raisins are definitely the way to go. So much better than white or brown sugar. Now you can do it chicken with spices. And I'll just rub? Yes, two teaspoon salt. Mm -hmm. And turmeric, ginger, and pepper. And add here pinch saffron. Okay. All of it, you can do it here. You just pop it inside? Yes. Inside. So add uh, this juice, too much juice, more onion here. This is a real onion dish. Yeah, next step is uh, cook uh, together this chicken with the uh, onion and with spices. Okay. You can cook it here. How long is this going to cook for? Uh, not uh, just uh, five minutes. Can we add our raisins to this one now? Yes. All of them? Yeah, all of them, okay. yes. You can now mix and add water. Mix to add water. You rub the semolina with your hands so that every grain gets to absorb some water. This is definitely something that you don't want to start from scratch after a long day at work. You'll eat at midnight. Yeah, steam three times, yes. Next up is packing our steamer. You'll see what I mean. This for steamer. Oh, okay. Oh, that's why there's holes yeah. at the bottom. Can yeah. you make a double You can boiler? steam like a couscous, yes. Okay. Can I put it inside? Yes. And do it first like this. Okay. Or add. Do it first. Moroccans usually eat couscous every Friday because that is the Muslim holy day. This dish is reserved for special occasions. I want to get every last bit in. I hate wasting. Before steaming the semolina couscous, we'll add some ingredients to the chicken pot. You can now add water, one liter. And then chickpeas, parsley, and pumpkin. You don't chop the parsley? No, just, like this. Just yeah. like this? Like this, yes. It's like a simpler version of bouquet garni. slow cooked dishes that you really just need to take your time with. We're going to steam it now for 15 minutes, add water, oil and salt, steam it again, water, oil and salt, and steam it for the last time and then lunch should be ready. So we've completed our three first couscous and now all the components of our defia couscous is ready. It's time for us to plate into this big bowl so we can eat together. I'm starving. Khadija thought about how she wants this dish to look at the end. So we're separating our ingredients so that we can create beautiful layers. First up is the chicken, carefully handled because it's going to be hot and heavy. You can smell the pumpkin and all the spices we put in as well as the chicken. And chickpeas. This dish was definitely worth the wait and I haven't even tasted it yet. <laughs> the 
Because Moroccans love to eat together from one bowl, it's very important that you make sure there's equal amounts of food throughout the whole bowl so that no one feels left out. Next up, our onions caramelized in raisins, adding the sweetness to our savory dish. Then, it's hard-boiled eggs for decoration. And then, toasted almonds sprinkled over the dish for that extra bit of crunch. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. <laughs> <laughs> The smell of roasted almonds and caramelized onion is making my mouth water. Khadija, thank you for inviting no, me to your welcome kitchen. welcome to Khadija Cuisina. Welcome. This tastes amazing. The sauce from the chicken is coming through beautifully and the couscous has absorbed all of the flavor. The texture of the almonds definitely creates a nice balance in my mouth. The raisin caramelized onion is definitely the highlight of this meal, making it a well-balanced sweet and savory dish. I love how Moroccan food just has a way of tying in different cultures and when you're able to go to someone's home and prepare a meal together, it really breaks continental boundaries. Thank you are you. welcome. You are welcome. Thank you for you. <laughs> we are in Khadija's Cuisina. You are watching Africa on a plate.